presumably Trump will not support uh, decisions that around the environment that hobble American growth with any great enthusiasm. You'll see a resetting of uh, America's environmental objectives. Would that be a fair, uh, a reweighting in favour of uh, economic growth and, and cost of yeah. living? Uh, concerns? I think that will be done by executive orders. I mean, he'll preface it as he always do. He loves, I love our water. I love our clean air. I'm, an, I'm a conservationist, not an environmentalist. I'm a conservationist, but then he will lift the EV mandate that has almost destroyed some of our major automakers. That will be gone. He will promote, especially this new technology of smaller nuclear plant power plants that are much safer and much easier to build and much quicker to build. He said that when Biden replied to him, as did Harris, well, we're pumping more natural gas and oil than you did. He just simply said, you weren't until the midterms, and then you copied my my protocols, but you're not telling the truth because if you'd follow them to their uh, comprehensiveness, you would have been pumping three to four more million barrels. And he always prefaces that in terms of Europe. We could be supplying, it's a great deal, we could be supplying Europe with all the liquid natural gas they want. And of course, he said that it was a big mistake for the Europeans uh, and Joe Biden to stop the Greek Cypriot Israel natural gas line to Europe. He's a, he, he's a businessman. He wants as much production of food, fuel, building. Uh, he just said the other day, I'm a builder. Builders in, the, in America unite. We're going to build houses. We're not going to have any homeless. We're going to keep get the country moving again. He tells a story almost every time when he's addressing people. Elon, can you imagine with this huge rocket, it's 10 stories high, it comes down, it, it's 10,000 degrees, it's going to burn up everything or crash in the ocean, and then this arm comes out of nowhere, and I call Elon up. Elon, what did you do? I grabbed a rocket, Mr. President. Can the Chinese do this? Not for 10 years, Mr. President. That's the kind of, can't, it's a, it reminds me of JFK. He had that same idea that we were going to get back moving again and build things and be preeminent. And uh, he, it's very funny. One of the touchstones is the way he reacts to Elon Musk, who the left hates because of his purchase of X. But his attitude is, my God, he created an electric company. The, the vehicles are better than the big three's vehicles. He's the only person really to break into the big three. He saved NASA from itself. He revolutionized social media. He's a renaissance man. We've got to get, we've got to tap into this guy's genius. He's, a, he's American. He's, he's American. This is the kind of guys we want. Even people he doesn't particularly fond of, like Jeff Bezos, he's been very fair to. He likes people like that, that are entrepreneurial, successful. He's not envious of them, as most people are. Uh, it's, so I think it's an exciting time if you're a, an entrepreneur in the United States.